But, you know, whatever we end up doing, one thing's for sure, Louis has a suckable head. Anyway, welcome back to Pikmin 4. Um, in this game, we're going to spoot Louis into a drainage ditch and, I guess, finish the game as well. What happened to Olimar's head? Olimar is more butt plug plugular. I feel like Louis is much more like you could stuff him into a pipe. So yeah, welcome back. This game has been, um... It's been kind of like going on for a while. Much like it took me many months to complete Zelda, which I spent admittedly way more time on. Uh, Pikmin is a shorter game. I just played it less. But yeah, I think it's, it's time. This is what I, I talk about when I say I might love a game and then end up playing it for like two months. And then uh, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's time for this to end. But it's a way longer game than I expected. As has been discussed previously. Question, chat, when did this game come out? Not enough. This year. Oh, good, good answer. It was July 21st. So I've been playing this for nearly two months. Like once or twice a week. So yeah, it's a it's a substantial experience. I mean, you can still not do all the stuff. You can do as much or as little as you want. I mean, but the game is just so good. You you should play you should play it. Oh, big chomp. Oh, shit. Hmm. The dog took seven years for this game to be out. It was all dog physics, you think? Also, how about that Nintendo Direct announcement that didn't happen? Arlo is pissed. Arlo wants Pikmin 5. Now. Oh, hey. I don't know, it still could happen. We could still get an announcement. Um, we can talk a little bit about... Here's... Okay, here's your choice. Um, we can talk about... The potential leaks from Pioro, or we can talk about 9-11. It's your call. Alright, we'll talk about both. Let's start with, um, the leaks. I guess, quick spoiler discussion. quick spoiler discussion about a potential Nintendo Direct that may not happen, but the person who ended up predicting the Nintendo Direct last time um, said that maybe we're going to get a Donkey Kong. Not like a Donkey Kong Country, but maybe like the, the hint was that it was going to be like Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I say predict, but you know, that's the leak. So people are taking this as, as gospel because he got it right previously. And then there's also a potential F-Zero. So, I don't know. I mean, it, it's all just... It's all just speculation. Um, and even if this person does have some kind of, like, knowledge of this stuff... We didn't even get an announcement for a Nintendo Direct, so... I'm not hopeful. I usually like a good huff of copium. Especially if that copium says F-Zero. Like, if there's an F and a zero in the, in the, you know? Why not throw some Star Fox into the mix? You know what they should do? They should throw Star Fox GP. Remember that one? 
Star Fox Grand Prix. A racing game where you play as Star Fox. Oh my god. Wow. Um, I don't, I mean, fuck, is it even worth it? Well, we'll go that way. I'll just get it. I also, uh, the leak also, um, there was a thing about, um, Mario turning into not just an elephant. <laughs> I already see the sweat frog. I don't, l luckily, I don't have anything else to say. No, don't don't worry. I don't I don't have any other things to to mention about um, Mario turning into an elephant or otherwise. But I can tell you a little bit about 9/11. So, I guess the reason I want to bring it up, because yesterday was 9-11, and um, I've noticed a trend of... There are people... A lot of the, the younger generation is making a lot of 9-11 jokes. And then there's a whole bunch of other people upset that that's happening. At least some limited amount of stuff that I've seen about it. And I wanted to share my own experience, because... I don't know. Um, I saw the things, they, they had the, the memorial light up in the sky, and it reminded me of what happened all those years ago. So, as a New Yorker, I can tell you this. Humor is a way to deal with problems. I know that people, it's just a shocking thing to make people, like, laugh when people make jokes about it. And, like, there's people that didn't experience it, or they don't like the effects of what happened afterwards, which is fair. But, um, as someone that was in school when it happened, and, you know, knew people that lost people... Yeah, it was- it was crazy. It was the scariest shit that ever happened in my life. And, uh... It's really hard to explain, because I was- I was 16 when it happened. So I remember the whole, like, the whole thing, and I was worried, like, my father wasn't gonna come home from work. So, I, you know, I saw it, and, and trust me, at the time, even the Disney Channel was trying to push the patriotism of, like, you know, this is, this is how you should feel. So, I mean, it was just, it was just the thing that happened. But one of the, the positives was that, like, every New Yorker, like, put aside their differences, and we were all just, like, trying to help each other. And I'll never forget that. <laughs> never forget. That was, like, a really cool side effect from it, of, like, actually weird kind of seeing people get along really well for a while. And I wish that was happening more often. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it sucked. It was, it was a terrible time. I wish it didn't happen for a, a number of reasons, and for how it changed the world in, in shitty ways as well. But, um, it was crazy. I was in class. And I was watching it in homeroom, and, uh, people were laughing a little bit about it until the second plane hit. I've shared these stories before, um, but, you know, it was, it was tough. Everyone then got real scared and real quiet, and all the, like, you know, people that were, like, um, tough as nails suddenly were, were not. And then they sent us home, yeah. So, um, in regards to, like, jokes... Like I said, I deal with hum- I deal with things with humor. And... For some people, 
there are certain things that are just a bridge too far. But to me, a funny joke can help process some shit if it's, you know, if it's like funny, if it's actually funny. But, um, I don't mind that like, I even make them myself because Norm has made me laugh on several occasions about like 9 11 jokes. But I mean, life is short and you can just not listen. You could just walk away. I don't know. I mean, for me, it's just not a big deal. As a New Yorker who watched it happen, new people that lost people, if people are going to make a little 9-11 joke, I'm not going to get my panties in a twist over it. I, I don't really particularly mind. And, uh... You know, I get that it's upsetting for people, but... That's my perspective. That's how I feel, personally. But... At the same time, yeah, it is a little fucked up, because that, that shit was... I mean, it's years ago now. I'm not sure people... I don't know how many people were making Pearl Harbor jokes in the 60s. But, uh... Let me tell you, them 9-11 jokes happened real quick. Must be upsetting, especially if you had family who died in the towers. Of course, well, that's, that's the nature of anything. I mean, that's just a part of life. Like, if you have a personal experience with something, yeah, it's gonna be horrendous. Um... Oh, I actually need... Oh, okay, I need all purple Pikmin here. But, um, that also isn't, like, gonna stop people from making those jokes. Like, you can tell people. Be like, please stop, and, and they're not gonna stop. But, uh, regardless, yeah, it was- it was a crazy fucking experience, and I remember it pr pretty vividly. And I remember seeing the smoke. Oh, I don't have that many purples. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen, again, for some people, humor is the way they deal with shit. Luckily, I didn't have that much, like, um... It could have been way worse for a lot of people in my family, and luckily it wasn't. But, uh, you know. Crazy fucking experience. And, uh, I will say, all the jokes aside, because it really is very easy to make jokes about it, and just say the words, and then it's like, because it's so fucked up, people will immediately laugh, or because it's so, like, you know, it's just the way people use the word, the numbers. So, I, I think I had a point I was getting to, but I don't remember it. It's fine. Um, but, oh, right, right, I was just gonna say, yeah, um, as a New Yorker, I can just say, shit sucked, I wish people didn't die, um, I know that, uh, it's, it's real edgy to say, who cares, uh, but no, it's, it was, it was not cool, and if it was your, you know, if it was, like, someone that you knew, it would have been a very, very fucked up, tragic thing for you, personally, as the same for all of us, um, and I, you know, I do think about it from time to time. It was- that was a really hard time to live through. In a lot of ways. And then, of course, the response to it afterwards was- was fucking crazy. Would you agree that the 90s culturally ended on 9-11? Uh, it certainly feels like that. I mean... It might be a little hyperbolic to say that, but I, it does feel like it, yeah. There was like a, a carefree kind of thing happening in the 90s. So, 
But yeah, I mean, I don't really want to preach to anyone, because I'm sure people's opinions are completely, um... They're completely set, and especially if you weren't born in a time where you actually were, like, cognizant enough of what was happening, and how good the propaganda worked, and how, how angry you felt, like, and how scared you felt watching that happen. Um, there's a lot that goes into that. And, uh, again, living so close to it, seeing the smoke from where I lived. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely change your perspective on a couple things. Yeah, and then, of course, like, school would show you all the, yeah. It's a tough thing to, to watch and, like, read about still to this day. Like, I, it's not... It's not something I like to revisit mentally. Vinny, can we talk about picking mins? No, I'm gonna talk about Pearl Harbor now. If you don't mind. Now, none of y'all motherfuckers were around for Pearl Harbor. <laughs> So, so you don't know. This is, um, one of those things where Pikmin somehow brings out the most, like, bizarre conversation topics. And I just felt like this was the appropriate time to talk about this. And also because, again, I wish it didn't happen. I really wish that didn't happen. Oh, fuck, I threw the, the fire at the thing and... Oh, God. Stop that. Stop digesting my Pikmin. My Dandori here is shit. It's been too long since I Dandoried properly. Wow, that's instant, huh? Well, thanks for listening. Um, yeah, I know that's not exactly why you're here, but it's, you know, once in a while I like to have a human conversation and not necessarily, um, hide behind ten layers of irony, which is fine, I like doing that too. So, yeah, otherwise, how are you, chat? What's- what's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to build that bridge. Um... I mean, I- Platinum is probably not gonna happen, but, you know, I'm- I'm good with, like, a bronze. I'm fine with that. I mean, the bridge would be because I have to get that stuff. That would make my life a lot easier if I built that bridge, but I, I Dan Doried poorly. Vinny, my 18 year old month's son has leaks. Would that make you happy? I know Nintendo didn't have one for you. Oh, piss! Can you stop sa how many times have you said that, chat member? Can- can you, like, stop that? Listen, try a message, like, twice or three times, but... Like, you must have really believed in that joke. God damn.
I mean, I, I might get... Yeah, gold is fine. I'm, I'm cool with gold. And I had shit, Dandori. Any other games you want to start after you complete this? Um... Nothing major. I'm just gonna continue... Uh, Starfield. And maybe a little bit of Armored Core. Try to see how, how invested I get in that. Amnesia is October. October is a different thing entirely. Sea of Stars? I might start st uh, Sea of Stars and just see how I feel about it. Will you start... Will you play Signalis? No. Will you replay Skyrim anytime soon? No. You know what's going to happen, and Nintendo Direct is going to happen this week, and then they're going to say Metroid Prime 2 available right now. How about RimWorld next year? Listen, I love RimWorld, and if there's a, a video game release deficit, I could see myself playing some more Rim. But, um... My plan is I want to finish up... I want to finish up um, this in Final Fantasy 16. I want to consider Armored Core at the very least. Because it is a really good game. I want to um, play through Starfield. Again, I'm not even sure I'm going to end up finishing that game. Post your kappas. But I like just doing random stuff on a stream. And it is the exact same kind of feeling I get from Skyrim. What glitch will be around the corner? But also, oh, I want to do this quest. Please don't waste any more time on Starfield. I mean, you don't have to. You can play whatever you want. Uh, what else? Someone said Against the Storm. I'm pretty bad at that game now. I got good at it for a little while, and then I got bad at it. But, yeah, maybe one day I could return to that. Um, Blasphemous 2, I think I have probably one more session of. So, I would like to finish the Escape from Lavender Island game. Today I'm gonna try to finish Wario Destroys a Glass of Milk. So maybe I can, like, finish some of the, the stuff that I, I didn't get a chance to. And that's until Mario Wonder comes out. So maybe late September I might get started on Dead Space Remake. Oh my god. So, yeah, Dead Space would be World of Horror, Dead Space, and uh, Amnesia are my three definite Halloween games, plus a bunch of one-offs. I have tons of one-offs. For those wondering where Silent Hill is, Silent Hill 4, The Room, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be playing that this year. Probably not. Like, likely not. That could happen next year, or if I finish, um, Dead Space and, um, Amnesia quickly. You know, who knows, but, um, right, right now I'm just planning on finishing up what I have. October also has Mario Wonder. And then Wario comes out soon, too. WarioWare. And then, um, Mario RPG will be a full playthrough.
think I see Lewis. Having a hard time here, folks. Come on. Yeah, lost a couple. It's okay, I really needed this yam. Like, obviously. Vinny, it's only noon, I know. Well, it's a nice day out and I want to have the day free. Like, well, the night specifically. I, I I was saying before, I like nice nights better than I like nice days. Man, why is that thing jiggling like that, though? Oh, fuck. carry that stuff. Um, I don't think I can get that gold bar, but I don't really think I mind all that much. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to Louie. Oh, dog bowl. No, we can get it. We can get it. I know we can. Maybe. Uh. Mm, no. We are, uh, where, where's, where's the rest of them? They're just carrying, they're all that, on that one area there. Yeah, they got the bowl. It's fine. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Come on, lads.
Yep. There's a like a human sized dog bowl. Wait, that's weird. No, no, there's a dog sized dog bowl and there's also small dogs. What does that mean? Man-sized dog bowl. I know, but are there man-sized dogs? The mall. Just don't bring them to the mall, whatever you do. Oh. The man dogs. So, Chad, I went to, um, I had a really crazy couple days. So I mentioned the Arctic Monkey Show. I saw two other shows. And I had no plans on seeing any of them. Um, some of these artists, uh, some of you will not give two fucks about, but I'll just tell you what happened. So, um, one of my friends, my friend Jackie, I've known for about... God, 15 years now. We've never gone to a concert together. And we tend to like the same music. Me and like a couple, like it's like a little group of people. Um, there's definitely differences, but Arctic Monkeys is one that we share. And, yes, Jackie Chan, very good. And um, so on Friday, the weather was really bad. And it was like, do you want to go see Arctic Monkeys? I'm like, yes. But it's terrible out, so no, I don't want to see them. The weather is completely fucking shit. It was thunderstorm. It's like, no, I don't want to go see... I don't want to see them in an outdoor stadium in a thunderstorm. And she's like, all right, well, listen. Listen. If the weather gets a little nicer, the tickets are really low-priced right now compared to how they were. Do you still want to go? I'm like, maybe. So, tickets weren't too bad, and then the weather cleared up, and then we ended up getting tickets. W way to be weird, chat. Um, and yeah, it was great. It was really nice out, too, and it ended up working great. Someone in chat just said, so sick of you little freaks. Yeah, a couple. Um... But no, it was it was a really great show. They they were fucking phenomenal. The next day, I get a call from Jackie saying, "Hey, do you want to go see Beck? A friend of mine won tickets and can't make it for free." I I was like, "Yes." <laughs> so then I go to Madison Square Garden. I go see Beck. Phoenix opened up for Beck. Um, Phoenix, I was not familiar with their work at all. They apparently have opened for Daft Punk on occasion and um they're like more yeah they're like french daft punk and uh they did a song with beck so there was like a a song that they did together they were pretty good i didn't love their stuff i thought it was it was generally pretty at times a little too like um i like melody and there was a more rhythmic focus but still a good band, and I, I'm going to be listening to some of their stuff. So I, I enjoyed. I think if I knew their, like, material going in, I would have enjoyed it a whole lot more. But regardless, it was a good time. And uh, I think just getting the price of free for a show is amazing. Beck was awesome. He did, like, most of the earlier stuff, which I love. Like, anything from, like, um the mid 90s 2000s so it was like a good variety of stuff i don't like a lot of beck's newer stuff i'm just not crazy about it but um there's a couple songs here and there oh my god what have i done
I'm fine with this. Yeah. Vinny, I've never really been to a legit concert. I'm kind of anxious about going... Um... ...to people I don't really know. Yeah. No, I feel you. I, I like pretty much going... Well, Daft Punk is already French. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much... I'm open to going to a new artist I've never seen before, as long as there's some... Station, you're close. <laughs> As long as there's some, like, um... I don't know, like, uh, there's a, like, a fucking, uh, a sound that I like, that they make, you know what I mean? Like, there's certain artists, like, I'm not gonna go see Drake. I have no interest in, in Drake, or anyone like Drake. I'm sorry, it's just, like, his type of, like, bland, generic, like, I'll go see a hip-hop show. I've seen some of the people that gorillas have on there. Ah! Like, Della Soul, I would see in a heartbeat, you know? Like, there's definitely... I have my, uh, my tastes, but also I'm willing to, like, step outside that. For the right artist. But I wouldn't want to see, like, a, a big pop show. It's just not me. It's just not for me. So Phoenix definitely had, like, a big pop feel in a couple of their songs, but they were all playing instruments. They had a great stage show. And they've been around forever, so I... I was willing to, like really get into the music and I and I did. I thought they were they were pretty great. And um Beck was awesome and he did a great like combo of um all his types of all his like you know various eras of music. And uh, it was it was a phenomenal free show. So and then I also saw Pavement last night. <laughs> because they're doing they're doing shows in Brooklyn. They're ending I saw them again, yeah, I, I have a bit of a problem, but I- they're ending this year-long tour, and, uh, I wanted to see them. And it was fun. I looked at the ground, I did look at the ground. I like Pavement a lot, as you know, and they- they put on a great show, but it was mainly, like, B-sides and deep cuts. Which... I don't know a lot of the, like, Pavement B-sides and deep cuts, so I enjoyed it. I knew maybe, like... They had a pretty big set list, so I knew maybe like 10 of the songs they played, which was maybe half. But any of the stuff I didn't know was good. I mean, they're a sloppy band live at times. Like, they're just a very loose. They just play, and they'll fuck up, and it doesn't matter. But um, there were songs that were like extremely jammy, and then there were songs that like were more radio hit kind of songs. But yeah, they were they were pretty good. Of the three, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say Arctic Monkeys was the one that won me over the most. I've seen Beck and Pavement before, but I had never seen Arctic Monkeys, and they kind of honestly blew me away. Did they play anything off of Wowie Zowie? Yes, they did. They played some songs off of Wowie Zowie. Chat, Pavement has an album called Wowie Zowie. Look at that head. But there's Louis. Nell appears unharmed. Enough of this. We need you to cooperate. No. I, I'm telling you, we're gonna throw that motherfucker in a drainage ditch. Put him in the wood chipper. But yeah, um, just a couple of, of thanks for listening to my uh, ramblings here. But I really, um, I'm very lucky. I got to see some cool shows. 
It's it's nice to live in New York sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it's okay, and you you get a lot of great shows from great artists. She's been drinking glow sap, remember? Did Louis just scratch his ass? Uh, gaggle. Our murder of Pikmin. No, not like that. I mean, that's just like what you, you know, like a murder of crows. That was, that was almost kind of bad. We're doing just fine, chat. We're, we're Dandorian like the best of them. Oh, you... Fuck you, Louie. Oh my god, Louie, you piece of shit. Dig up the pumpkin, and that way I can take it. Or whatever it is. It might be a pumpkin, I'm not sure. Not a pumpkin, by the way. Not a pumpkin. You're so excited about this nipple. Ah, uh, they dug it up, but now I, I don't have it. It's okay, I'm gonna take it now. Done. Oh man, I can't get over that way. Oh, yay, yeah, shit. Yes, eat all the shit that you can find! Do it quicker, do it quicker. Oh man. I will destroy you. just got interesting, as if they weren't. Thank you. 
I, I hate, I hate this dog. Please! Please! Fuck off! Fuck off! Ooh. Nipple! Wait, is it approaching me? Oh, you motherfuckers. Yeah, get over there quicker. Yeah, even faster than that. Oh, there's a there's a fucking boss on the screen right now. Yeah, you like that? This is a mess. All of my Pikmin are all over the goddamn place. Oh, thanks, game. That game just gave me the thing. Oh, dog, no! Ouchie! Hey, Snipper! That's the sound he makes when he, uh, when he gushes. Moss abandoned. <laughs> well, that's how much of a piece of shit Louie is. Moss, can you hear my voice? Can you find me at my current location? Track me down. How does that work? We got this. I 
think so. Now we just have to find Lewis in, in his cavern. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if there was just like like in the distance there is just an ass like sticking out of the ground, and you find Louis at the butthole as the entrance, and like it's just a cave of like intestines and and like. Wouldn't that be cool? More. No? Wait, where are we, uh... If you were a Hokkachin, where would you explore first? How do you say it? Where Where would be fun to be small? Chat, I wasn't trying... Listen, I already made the ass joke, alright? Honey! Away from insects. I agree with that. On Scarlett Johansson's house? Build up your perps, get the gold bar. You have to wait for the next day for Louie. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Perps. Vinny, how do you feel about the outrage over the Splatfest results? <laughs> I don't- I don't even know what the Splatfest was. I actually do not know what the Splatfest was, I'm not kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sure there's always gonna be some form of outrage over everything. It was the idol fight. I don't, like, really particularly care about those Gormless characters, uh, truthfully. <laughs> Listen, I, as a fellow Gormless person, just have no real dog in the race when it comes to which one I like better. I'm sorry. It doesn't really bother me which one uh, won or loot lost. But no, I mean, like anything else, there are people who would take that very seriously, and I understand, and I'm not trying to diminish, you know, how you feel about your, your favorite fictional characters. I get it, but I mean... It's only game! Why you have to be mad?
Thoughts on the Unity engine drama? I don't even- I'm sorry, I don't know what these things are that you keep trying to rope me into. I don't know. Old bar. You again? Oh, really? Oh, no. No, fuck you! I needed them! God damn it. Can I just have the purples get any of these and it become purple? Oh, right, right, right. No, it's what you have in your party. I get it. it took me a minute there. But also, yes, you can. Thoughts on DRM on the Switch? Oh, man. I, th I think save that for the Q&A segment. Of course, it, it, yeah, I'm not a fan of Denuvo at all. I, I mean, is anyone? The only ones who are fans of Denuvo are shareholders and, like, you know, people who, like, bean counters. Otherwise, it just, like, fucks with performance and makes everyone's life more miserable. So, no, I don't- I don't think, um... And again, Nintendo games are gonna sell, regardless of whether or not there's, uh... Um, look, 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 look at Tears of the Kingdom. I get that Nintendo wanted to further maximize their profits because they saw that people played it on their computer. But the game- like, what are we up to for lifetime sales of Tears of the Kingdom? And it's only been a couple months. And De Nuvo actually slows down games. And makes things worse for everybody involved. De Nuvo literally only affects paying customers. Yeah, because then people that want to get around it find a way around it, and then they have a better experience. Are you going to stream early on Thursday? Nah, probably normal time. Vinny, stop reading the chat. Is this game that bad? It's called Dandori, and it's the art of doing multiple things at once. Okay? Learn about it. Someone just said, fuck Denuvo and fuck Nintendo for patching, or fuck, um, Zelda, and fuck Nintendo for patching out duping. I mean, I get why you wouldn't care about Nintendo, because Nintendo has its own issues and everything, but that was what killed it for you? That duplicating items like a cheap motherfucker was the thing that, that got you so pissed that you stopped playing it? You cheap motherfucker, you. Now nah, you can play the game however you want, but I mean... If, listen, if a company patching out a glitch is enough to get you that upset, I mean, Jesus. Though to be fair, if Bethesda fixed Skyrim, I would never play it again. So I guess I understand where you're coming from.
this isn't happening today, is it? Um, what is the closest one? Oh, we still got purples who are not... Present. Come on, purple, 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 purple! Come on, purple, 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 purple. Where, where, are, where the red, where, where, where? Got him. Jesus. All right, we got story. We're, we're going to find out what's going on here, and then we can go and have Louis um, become a butt plug like his dreams have always intended him to become. I thought Olimar was the butt plug. Yeah, that's why Louis is antagonistic, because he doesn't like that Olimar be become what he has could not. Have I ever watched Defunct Hello? Land? I do like Defunct Land. Nell hasn't woken up, she's probably exhausted. She hasn't eaten anything since she crashed onto the planet. Oh, hey. Humans can survive for, without food for a while, as long as they're drinking water. But was Nell drinking water? It's been 40 days. Yeah, but these aren't humans. These are little, like, creature fellas. The biggest threat I faced was my own empty stomach. We owe you Rescue Corp folks big time. Thanks, Don Bergman. It's quite enough pleasantries for now. Your doctor filled me in on current situation. I'd like to have a look at Ochi right away. So the tip of his tail has morphed completely into a leaf, and not like one that I could easily pluck from a plant. The symptoms seem to be quite similar to those displayed by the leaflings, if I'm not mistaken. We've tried... Flow sap and non-leafified cells from a non-leafified individual. We've struck upon our main issue. If administered as a preventative measure, the medicine may have worked, but to cure a space dog, you need space dog cells. Wow, it's so easy. You can make a dose of medicine using Moss's cells. We need cells from a dog that has not been leafified. While preparing to harvest cells from moss, I came across this. Um, I found this huge dog thing near large rock at the back of the swamp. It has something in its mouth. There's that pink person who had the yummy juice. She's getting in the way. I'll just drop her somewhere. Oh, actual huge dog. Oh, I, I called it, I think. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. Wow. 
Just a real dog, yeah. Passed out from hunger? Is that possible? Can you go? It is. I passed out from eating a McDonald's apple pie once. So I wonder if it's similar, just like opposite. So far. So we need cells from that dog. So where is the giant dog? Now that Moss is here with us, it's possible that Louis will try to find and adopt the other dog. We have to follow Louis' scent. You know, I haven't seen any of the Fast and Furious movies, but I was thinking about how there's like a, a de-evolution of reality over the movies. Like, things get more and more ridiculous, like Vin Diesel's punching submarines. Um, you know, they're flipping cars into space and shit. And I thought, how cool would it be if he kind of just devolved into Groot? But instead, Dom would just say family, and not Groot, so it would be like... Family. Oh my god, Dom. We gotta stop that space submarine from entering Orth, uh, Orth's orbit. You think you could do that? Family. You can't be serious, Dom. You, no one's ever attempted that before. In a muscle car, no less. Family. Dom, you've got a wife and kids. Think about The Rock. Your child. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that if I were you, The Rock. I. I the, the Dom. Family. Dom. What's your last name? Deloise. Dom Deloise. Listen to me now. You might just save this planet if you can punch that space submarine out of orbit. Family. Godspeed. Godspeed. As strange as he may be, Louis did look after me in his own way. So please do your best to rescue him and bring him back in one piece. Oh, it's the one piece. Whatever that is. There's a small matter he and I need to discuss. I think she's forgiven Louis for stealing that juice. That is a gormless smile if I've ever seen one. I mean, either they're like doe-eyed or like angry. They look a lot of them look angry or they just look intentionally dumb like my character. Oh, we got both of them in a row. Dom, I, I don't think you can do it. I don't think you can do it, Dom. You've tried. Family. Dom, you can't become a car. You cannot splice your DNA with a car. Family. Dom, you crazy son of a bitch, you might just be right. Godspeed. Emily. Right, and chat member just said, thus Cars was born. That's right. Dom from Fast and Furious was the first one, the progenitor. He, like, injects, like, oil into his veins and becomes, like, half car, half... Vin Diesel. And his name is just Vin Diesel at that point.
Can you play the animation of him turning into a car? I don't have that animation at the moment. Um, that is easily accessible. It's somewhere. What car would you be in Fast and Furious? Probably like a Miata. <laughs> I don't really know cars that well. I just know that that is a funny car. Like... People use that as a punchline, so I think that's, um... I think that, that's, yeah, that would, that would work for me. This may take a while. I'm just gonna help them. Gonna use the drugs? Can you use them from wherever? Where, where the fuck did Throchi go? Throchi's still up there, huh? Oh yeah, you can switch to him. Oh, and you can also command him. Oh yeah, I'm silly. The Dazzle series. I got the best item in the game right there, I think. Did you get all treasures? No. No, this isn't going to be a 100% run. I, I got a good chunk of them. I would say I still did most of the game's stuff. But not 100%. This is it, Luigi! Finally tamed that huge dog thing. I'm gonna lie low for a while in its den. It's really deep and there are plenty of snacks. The others will give up and go home. Looks like we're going to be here for a bit, so strap in, lads. Louis, Louis, come out from wherever you're hiding. Oh, no. There we got go. Hey. 
Why does that mushroom have an ass? Oh, it's got a front ass, too. Like any good mushroom must. I hate this. Oh my god. Of course, the thing I would struggle against the most is, um... ...a green mushroom. Brings him back to life. Oops. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Come on. Ah, you ate a couple of them. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're, we're doing fine. Doing fine. There we go, drink the nectar, very good. Drink the nectar. Bring out glow Pikmin whenever you lose some. Oh right, yeah, I have those. Those little sons of bitches, I forgot about them. Progress 5%. Hmm. <laughs> I see you hiding, come on. <laughs> mm. 
Bickman coin to gain progress. Oh, that is Mario 64 sleep music, isn't it? And then it's just Mario as a tire. I'm surprised that hasn't been done. Anyone want to make a YouTube short with me? Oh, it has been done? Never mind, no, we don't need to make a short. It's been done. You know what? For how fucking sloppy that was, losing only one Pikmin is a small miracle. I will bring your corpse to my spaceship now, where you will be turned into Soylent Green. How close are we to ending Pikmin? Um, 15%? Vinny, will you play more Armored Core 6 in the future? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to boot that up again when I'm done with uh, the stuff I'm playing at the moment. Let's see if I even remember how to play it. I do, I remember how to play it. Very lucky they didn't die. I have enough juice that I can pretty much destroy any boss pretty easily, I think, at this point. Oh, you like the juice.
Yeah, these the sprays are basically my uh, elixirs at this point in the game. I'm sorry, did you tell me to fart? No, 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 no. I said elixir. Play enemy, got it. Play enemy Germa version. <laughs> oh, what, what did he say? Every single person wants to be my enemy. I hate to say it, but I might have to do a Watto cover of that song. I, you know, I prefer to just do songs I like, but, uh... No, that, that's already... No. Watto would canonically sing that song. I, I think it's like, yeah, it's in character for the Watster. Damn it, just ate like 10 Pikmin. Fuck! That worked out just, just great. You gotta get him in the jowls just right. It's all about the jowls. Dom, you can't, you can't use the juice. I'm telling you, Dom, don't do it. Only the rock can.
quite an anicular head you've got there. That was a mistake. Oh, Blasphemous. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier. I'm continuing my Blasphemous playthrough, and I'm almost done with it. And it is just great. What a fucking good game that is. I've got an episode that will be an hour and a half- Oh, fuck! Oh, that will be an hour and a half, and then after that it'll be about, I think, probably a two-hour ending episode, and then it's done, but... It's shaping up to be one of my favorite Metroidvanias, like, maybe of the past 10, 20 years. Oh, you can do that. Oh. Why? I don't know. Someone in chat told me to do it. it seemed like a good idea at the time. Lizard. Aren't glow Pikmin really good? They they are good, but they are not ice Pikmin, which are also really good. I do have a ton of glow Pikmin, that's true. I'm not too concerned. Yeah, the music here is real nice. This is chill. Chill music. It was worth it for the duck. Chat, if you had a little army of Pikmin, 
but they are the size that they are in this game. What would you command them to do? I think I would just have them to like, I would have them command, uh, oh, let me say words. I would command them simply to just clean spots that are hard to get to. That's it. Whoever said urethral insertion, please ban that guy. Thank you, mods. Someone said I would train them to steal money for me. I, I hate to say it, because that is... Isn't that immoral? As Neil Breen would say, but you, you are a genius. A Breenius, in fact. Train them to clean computers. That's actually a really good idea, I think. Cleaning computers. And like getting the crust in the keyboard. You know, you can actually take all that crust and bake with it. I wouldn't fucking recommend it, but you could. What do you mean, why? I don't know, people do all sorts of crazy things. I get it now. The hell is that? Isig? 
No, you can't even get that. Yeah, this is crazy. Th this is a lot, a lot of game. I didn't expect it to be this much of a cave. I thought maybe it would be like half of this. Unacceptable. I always have issues with this fucking thing. No more issues. Drink swords? That's what I get for this? Cocktail swords, rather. There was a point in my life where I didn't understand why every drink didn't come with a cocktail sword. And now I know why. It's because, um, kids would stab their little brothers with them. We at least have umbrellas yeah you can have an umbrella however you can also stab your little brother with an umbrella Arcy. I've never seen this before. Wow, a lot of them died! Acceptable losses.
I'm seeing a pattern here. Vinny, try without spicy spray. Many die. Rewind. Vinny uses spicy spray. Yeah. Please kill Louis. Please, please, just please, Louis. Louis. Lou. Took a little bit, uh, bit of effort. That was that was a little dumb. I, I could have gone a little better. Fine. It's fine. No spicy needed. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Chat, I think of the word skibbity more times in one day than I really should. And every time I see the word liberty, my brain replaces it with skibbity. It's been a bit of a problem. Skibbity mutual. Oh, I'm the one with the problem. While Skibbity Toilet is now the most popular media franchise in the entire world. Hmm. Interesting. Step aside Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Skibbity. I wanna be. Gotta flush them all. Gotta flush them all. I think learning about Skibbity Toilet was Vinny's 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> think the direct announcement will happen tomorrow. Uh. They could announce it tomorrow and then do it Thursday morning. But please do not hold on to hope for this. You know, keep yourself free. I'm pure. Try to do what I do. Which is to just empty your head. It's not hard. When you're me, there's not much going on anyway. Is this supposed to be like a Resident Evil save room? Oops. It 
to rest sub level there were in Pikmin 2. I don't remember a lot of Pikmin 2. Now, the, the cock Pokemon at uh, Pikmin were in Pikmin 2, right? That's not just an imagination. Vinny, please stop believing every random schmo who posts credible leaks. Chat member, you are correct. I believe it 100%. Fully believe it. That's why I said it. 100% believe. You are wrong. I am right. You can tell by the way I said it that I believe it. There is that one chat member who has a diaper chief that said that there would be leaks. So I believe that too. I also read about Mario's cock adventure. And I'm pretty sure that's a definite. That's a shoe in for... Um, the Nintendo Direct that's gonna happen Thursday. When is Beetlejuice Rusty Cock Day? It's sometime in September, I think. I'm excited for Luigi's Haunted Scrotum. Oh, Mario, I take my scrotum out in church! 26th of September. Apparently, Beetlejuice 2 was th like two days away from being finished filming. I have like almost no hope in Beetlejuice 2 being a good movie. There are so many sequels that are made to the thing. And, like, most of them are not, like, amazing. Some of them are okay. Like, for every Top Gun Maverick, there are five... Uh, what's the one I'm thinking of, chat? Anchorman 2? All the Ghostbusters, yeah. All that stuff. So, I don't know, I mean, I listen, I love Michael Keaton. Tim Burton has been a disappointment. Like, a lot of the stuff he's, he's made recently has not done anything for me. But, um, yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm willing to give it a chance, just because I love Beetlejuice so much. I rewatched The Lost Boys at a friend's backyard. A uh, barbecue thing! Alright, that's a rewind. And that movie is, is like a fun 80s movie, but it's not great. People saying it's great, I get it, you like it. It has, um... There's a vibe. But it is a very, very, like... Um... I don't know, watching it is just, it's just silly. Like, it doesn't mean it's a bad movie by any means, but... When they show the inside of the vampire lair, and they keep cutting to shots of a poster of Jim Morrison, I can't help but laugh. But, uh... It's a pretty, it's a pretty fun summer vampire-y, um... Like, boardwalk movie, I guess. But what we do in the shadows and, like, comedy vampire material has 100% made me... ...like, sick of the whole vampire thing. I can't really take it serious.
but uh, yeah, I'm wondering if there's gonna be a Lost Boys sequel. It'll be called Lost Grandpas. With Kiefer Sutherland reprising his role as uh, Big Boss. Sure wish I could lock onto that specifically and not the enemy. Oh, the ZR button. Wow. Wow, I guess I forgot that that button even existed. Amazing. Oh, the skibbity. Every single buddy wants to be my... ...screnemy. puzzle. One second here, I'm just banning five chat members. No, I'm looking at my phone. Please. What must I do? two of them it's okay i can we can deal with that And it had a mouth like that. The foolish fruit. Really makes you wonder if they knew. DAA, anyone else know about eggplant 2BTBH? I'm okay, I just smelled burnt toast. Wonderful!
Vin, are you excited to visit Scoot for the Animal Crossing New Horizons update? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, chat member. Are you a leaker as well? We got some leaking chat members right now. From all of their orifices, they're leaking Nintendo secrets. That was the most dog shit gameplay I've ever seen. That was very, very cheesy, and I liked it. Oh no! Vinny is going to regret consuming his spice so early. I'll be okay. He means your intestines later. Oh, that's gonna make me a leaker. Oh man, I'm gonna be spilling out Nintendo Direct secrets all over the place in a couple hours. It's gonna be like this, chat. It's gonna be like this. Oh no, not this again. No, I'll show you, chat. It's gonna be hey, like... Pops, is this it's gonna be like this. Metroid Prime 2 will be out soon. That wasn't so bad.
Oh, you can murder them now. I didn't know you could do that. I guess maybe only here? Oh, it's a Joy-Con! Joy-Con. Vinny, do you retain information? Uh, I don't... Uh, depends. I tend to retain information on, like... Some video game stuff. Some stuff in regards to, like, music. But, uh, I don't retain very well. I have a feeling if I was an actor and had to memorize lines, I would be absolutely miserable at it. I guess even that, though, I heard you can train. Just the more you, like, memorize stuff the more you, you know, the better you get at it. But no, my, mem my memory is not the best. Is this what we're doing? God damn it. Dangerously cheesy. Pitaya. Could you imagine if these bosses were as spongy as Final Fantasy 16? I, yeah, thank God they're not. That, was that another Vin Diesel impression? No, no. Um, it's a uh, lemon. Jesus, look how many died! Oh, God! Oh. 
epic millions dead. I'm not really sure how I defeated that boss just then, but... Probably gonna want that extra bomb, but it's fine. I like these cool glasses. Oh, I can't get these over. Wait, yeah, yeah, that's genius. Ah. Uh. Wait, even Ochi can't do that? Interesting. Need an upgrade for that? Almost done. Yep. Someone just said almost halfway. Please stop that. And is this another rest area? Looks like it. How'd that one get up there? What the fuck? Oh. You're stealing Louis snacks. Good. There's more? Oh, I see. Vinny, you should start a podcast interviewing E-list celebrities. <laughs> I've already done that a couple times. Um, it sounds fun. That actually does sound fun. Genuinely, but I don't think I have the time or the patience to do shit like that. If I didn't also try to, like, 
do music stuff, perhaps I would do more podcast type things. But, you know, my passion lies in both streaming and music, so I end up kind of shafting one for the other once in a while. But that, you know, I would try. I have to get, like, a booking agent. Are you going to ignore those flowers? Um... Is there anything here I particularly need? Yellow and glow? Have you pickled your mans yet? Oh, 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 pickled? That's a new one. Can you have more than a hundred Pikmin on the field at the same time? If you have blows? No. Here we go. There's no place left to run, Louis. He's still scratching his ass. It's time to give up and give in. Where's the dog? Tell us. Without it, we'll never be able to cure Orochi. Go home. It's just a real dog. Oh, oh, but it's evil. It's an evil real dog. Fourth, fourth. Oh, what is this music? Oh shit. Mm, 
waste. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I can do this, I can do this. Oh no! A grievous mistake was made! Oh no, we're down to half Pikmin, half Pikmin! You fuck! I hate this dog! What? Rouse. Wait, do I have do I have healing? Bullshit.
Not quite enough. God. I, I have no, uh, one red pick. <laughs> one red Pikmin. One red Pikmin. Oh God. Attack! God damn it, attack! Right, Glow Pikmin can do this too. Get that dog in you. Phase four defeated. They fly now. This is actually kind of fucking crazy, this fight. Uh, 
three phases or three three attack cycles. Okay, okay, fair enough. It's flying with its ears. <laughs> Okay, yep, insta-death. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Keep exploring, please. Thank you. Oh my god. I just lost 50 of these fucking- Ugh! What are you doing? What are you doing? You're kidding me. You're kidding. You're absolutely fucking joking me. Well, now I can't do this. Oh my god. I could still do this, chat. I could still do this. I have one purple Pikmin. I can do it. Rewind doesn't reset the boss. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I, I was... Chat? I was so fucking angry. Even finding a way to the goddamn tail while it's doing that move can be a nightmare. And it's so quick, too. This boss is basically punishment for not paying attention the whole game. But you don't need to. I mean, a lot of the game is just throw Pikmin at your problem. Oh 
my god. Vinny, you can't throw Pikmin at all your problems. I know, I've tried. Please no redemption arc. Just throw him into a wood chipper. Uh. I don't know how we're going to cure Ochi now. The dog collar, it must have fallen off. It could contain lingering particles or fur from that giant dog. You know, starting Pikmin today, I was like, oh, this will take me about an hour. Two forty-five. Two, two hour, forty-five minute. Honey. Will Wario ever milk his own pits? That is the question. I guess the game is now over, finally? For real? Only lost, like, nearly a hundred Pikmin. Vinny, you must now kill a golden Rathalos, too. Yeah, you might be thinking of the wrong game, but I wouldn't be surprised. This game is... It can do some things. I didn't expect that last boss to be... what it was, actually. That was, that was a little bit... That was a little crazy. Good checkpoint. If there was not a good checkpoint, and it brought me back to the beginning, I mean, it would have been more rewarding to, you know, complete it, but it also probably would discourage a lot of people from continuing. So I get why they have checkpoints that generous. Count how many leaflings you will never cure? Oh, most. That thief drank almost all my juice. I suppose now is a good time for Louis and I to have a little chat. Can you give us a minute? No need to untie him just yet. It's gonna be like a... Uh, Casino Royale-esque torture scene, where Louis's balls are continually kicked in under a chair. Ochi can come home with us. It has no effect on Moss. Sorry, Moss. You you just have to you just have to live here. There's maybe no way to revert her condition. Come on. This is how it is meant to be. 
Waterfall. But Olimar, <laughs> Moss was born and raised on this planet. It would be wrong to change what she is for reasons she can't comprehend. This is her home. It's where she belong. We all have our own homes to get back to, and I think it's time we said goodbye to this planet. What must I do? Well, game is good. It's long. You know? I almost feel like it's a little too long, but you know I'm going to say that. You knew I would say that. But um, you don't have to engage with a, a good chunk of it. You can just kind of play as much as you want and get an ending. And then if you, you know, don't do a lot of the bonus stuff, you could just go straight to Louis and put his head in a meat grinder. We're free now. No more chores, no more fighting, no more work. Never mind. No, now Moss is going to tell them what to do. And thus the cycle of life continues. Also, not a real dog. That's still a dog with two legs. We'll be back at some point. Give it another 10 years. That's because you're a dog, Luigi. Oof. end um i guess to just sum it up this game is very very good i know some people like pikmin 2 more um i don't remember a lot of pikmin 2 but i i like this game a lot it is a full game and i don't see how they're even going to take this concept any further truthfully 30 hours jesus They'll introduce a new Pikmin that is also hard. The Diamond Pikmin. 300 murders. <laughs> Alright, Chad, that's Pikmin 4. So that's one down. Great game. In To me, this is in talks of, of maybe one of the better games of the year. If not, I think maybe in the top five best games of the year released. In a year with amazing releases. That's where I'm at with it.
pickled men. Four. The treasure logs for Louis are great. I don't, I don't really think I have um, much more in me to play this, but I'll, I'll take a look at a little bit of the logs. So apparently you can check all of the things you got and Louis will tell you things. I'll read one. I'll read one of them. Did everyone forget how to prepare for launch? How could we even consider making our return while we know there's still castaways out there? Oh, that's the conceit, is uh, we have to get the rest of the castaways. They will never be saved. They will rot in the sun. We all rot down here, Douglo. The flesh begins to rot. That's why we're people. And I definitely did a pretty good job getting all the, the stuff. Not all of it, but, you know, a decent amount. Nothing and no one tells me what to eat. That's Louis' note for this. I've been looking- I've been looking for a tray like this to use at mealtimes. It looks pretty easy to carry, too. No more meals will be lost. The color of this thing reminds me of a really delicious fruit. Makes for a great back massager. Look at all those buttons and rotating nub thing. I'm not letting anyone else touch this. It's mine. There's a ball hiding inside this thing for some reason. Take it out and you can't roll it anymore. It opens and then it closes. That's pretty fun. I see it has two rotating nubs, but it's unclear which one I should play with. These would enhance any video game experience. I jumped out of my skin the first time the, the display lit up. Wow. Chat, I'm going to play that Wario game for a little bit. Wario destroys a glass of milk. Pikmin 4 was great. End of an era. Long ass game, good game. Thank you for watching it. It's been pretty amazing. So we'll just take a quick break and I'll be right back. <laughs> 